previously on Oxventure. Having retrieved the first missing piece of the orb from the island prison of Alcatraz, the Oxventurers were granted a vision of the location of the second missing piece, the court of the legendary Thief Queen, deep in the dense and foreboding jungle known as the Tangle. After an eventful journey in which everyone managed to injure themselves in easily avoidable ways, they found themselves in the bandit town surrounding the court, where they sought an audience with the Queen herself. Judging by the angry guards pointing spears at their throats, it seems that this is what the Queen desires as well. With spear points very much still placed at your throats, um, the guards sort of like spin and allow you to start moving toward the direction of the palace of uh, the Thief Queen. Are the two, um, the two folks that I talked to earlier, are they watching? Yes. I'd like to make a, make a face like, got that audience. They, <laughs> um, they sort of are like, yeah, you certainly did, but they look at each other like quite worried that what appears to be the Queen's personal elite guard is uh, now guiding you at spear point to the palace. But They're jealous. Nonetheless, uh, you proceed into the palace. They bark directions at you. They're like, turn left here. Like some sort of like nascent, uh, deadly GPS. I know, le- I know to turn left. That's phase seven, <laughs> I say. Silence! Trust the process. The dog process. You do actually feel, because uh, you've spent enough time staring at the kind of map that you've been shown, you do feel like you know the way into the main chamber, if that is indeed where you're being led, because you've you've seen this building so many times, sort of, with the orb. Prince, what it's worth, you can actually feel the orb, kind of like, it's not vibrating, it's not making any noise, but you can just kind of feel its presence, kind of, there constantly in your mm. sort of satchel. Mm. It is it is very much awake and paying attention. Oh boy! You are shown into a very very large long throne hall. There is a chair, sort of, on a raised dais, um, that is empty. There's sort of like a beam of light coming through from some sort of window that lands on the throne and sort of the area around it. But as I say, it's empty and kind of everywhere else is very much in shadow. This is... this is very much a rogue's throne room, suffice it to say. I cast an appraising eye around and just say, nice. If If I was a rogue, I'd want fewer shadows so that my enemies might not come where are you going to lurk when your enemies arrive though Mm, maybe you just have one shadow behind (laughs) and you're uh, you're only allowed in (laughs) (laughs) what you're talking about there Egbert is a pitch black room (laughs) you you are having this discussion as um, as you're kind of marched up to a point and then the guards tell you to stop they raise their spear points and they back away Um, you are continuing to squabble and then from the darkness in front of you you hear a, a voice go silence And then into the pool of light steps the Thief Queen. She steps forward with uh, a very human-looking leg. It does not look like bags of loot, but is wearing kind of like boiled leather, kind of, you know, like typical rogue clothing. Mm -hmm. She steps further forward, um, and you see she has a cloak that she kind of moves slightly with a very human arm. She does not have crowbars, but arms. Um, she's the cloak ends in a very large hood, like absolutely huge, that is kind of pointed downwards. She steps into the light as she starts to raise her head. She sort of oh no removes the hood. Oh no, and you cannot see her face. Is it because there is pearl? just a uniform, no spherical papier mache <laughs> form of a pearl? No, and she says, <laughs> Well, if it isn't my old friend. <laughs> Ron hey. Perlman and his hey. retinue. Katie, bloody Pearlhead, how have you been? <laughs> oh, Katie, wow. It's I rush so forward and hug the head. Been so long. <laughs> Katie, it's been so long. Dub and Corazon, you both get smashed on the back of the knee by a spear butt. Ah. Oh. Pay some respect to the queen. Katie, oh, no. I think one of your goons accidentally just smashed me in the legs. <laughs> oh no, that was no accident. <laughs> Nobody calls me Katie Pearlhead, not anymore. Del, what? okay. Even with Sorry. that head still on yeah. your head. Egbert, shut up. <laughs> you call me Your Majesty. Okay. Your you Majesty. Know, you've, got a, 
Katie Pearlhead. Dope. Katie, your it. majesty Pearlhead. Dead your dope. royal <laughs> Pearlheadedness. Um, Egbert right. and Dop. Pearlhead of state. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you get smashed across the back with a spear butt. <laughs> oh. I've, I've, I've dropped my D20, so I don't know how badly that goes for you, but it's it, it hurts. You're, you're like, you, these... Shall I roll a D20 for it? No, it's fine. You're, oh, I won't make you take any damage, but your riffing, uh, you're starting to get the impression, is not appreciated. <laughs> okay. um, sorry, she... Katie. I, I mean, Your Majesty, sorry. Genuine mistake. I have misjudged the situation, which was phase eight. <laughs> Biggest score of my life, I thought. And I had that pearl, and I was scared. I was losing my crew. They were all sick, and you know what? You took advantage of that. Of me. I'm not going to lie, I, I could feel people, as you slammed this cursed object onto my head, I could feel people laughing at me. It was like there were thousands and thousands of pairs of eyes unseen <laughs> watching me from somewhere, all at the same time, all of them laughing, making their jokes. And worst of all, it seemed I'd been betrayed by somebody in the market, giving away my real name. So, well, I told you he'd be dead the next day. He was. I went and gutted him in front of all of the other vendors in the market. And I made him pay, sure. I made them all pay into my pocket. And she took charge of the Tanner's Folly Underworld, and that was just the start. Ron Perlman. Caster Falls, Rather Glen, even the thieves of Mistmire, they all pay dues to the Queen of Thieves. And that's me! Sounds a bit like the Pearlhead is the best thing that ever happened to you. I would point out it was it was Dob who put the he did the pearl heading. Now <laughs> let's not I forget. Know, Ron. Hey, I know. It. I mean, uh, Katie, uh, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. I will remember. Madam, Madam Delacour. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, uh, th- you're a thief. We were thieves. You know how it is sometimes. Like when you're sort of being a, a thief and, and, and a criminal. Thief. There's a bit of back and forth. You betray. I might. I. You. You might sort of attempt to betray us. We might put a pearl on your head. You might have your guards smash us in, yeah. in the knees. You might give us a, a legendary shard. There's all all this back and forth. It's is the just... back and. Uh. It's the simple back and forth situation. I assumed you were here for something. Spit uh, it out. Come just on. Just to check in. Just to hang out. Just check in with you. Your Majesty. Just uh, shoot the breeze. Legendary know. shard was that. <laughs> <laughs> Phase nine initiate. <laughs> yes, the shard. Yes, the legendary shard. Um, <laughs> do you have one? May we have it? Can we take it off your hands? Does it look a little bit like... And she describes the shard in perfect detail. Uh. Yes, and it's terribly cursed, Katie. Mm. Uh, but your Majesty, we came here because we... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> want to get it away from these yep. fine people. Who knows yeah. what curse could befall you, your majesty, if we weren't to take this horrible cursed object away from uh-huh. her. Sure. It's a ticking time bomb of cursedness. I don't think she's buying this, Corazon. Listen. She is the queen of thieves. I, I say charismatically persuasion. At least. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where is that D20? <laughs> it's so nice. I must use it. Oh, look at that. Oxventure logo on the 20. Look at that gold. Oh, That's wow. real gold. That's real. I assume. Uh, how, we can't say that. How does your, <laughs> no, how does your roll? Can't. It's I'm really it gold. Right it is really yep. gold, if not it's real really gold. It's really gold. Yeah. <laughs> um, I rolled a 15 plus 3 for the charisma modifier, which is an 18. Well, look, if it's cursed or no. I mean, I have some history now with cursed objects, apparently. Maybe we can cut a deal. Yes, Katie, I knew you were reasonable. Sorry, Your, your majesty. majesty. Your Majesty. Really having trouble with this new name. <laughs> your Majesty. You get, like, one of the one of the guards actually shatters his spear Ooh. over your back. Ow! Like, Ow! <laughs> Boss, I've got to get another spear. He goes, yeah, go get another spear. And he goes and gets another spear. Stop using the Queen's name. If that is the Queen's real name, no one knows the Queen's real name, and you keep saying it as if you know what it is. And if I know it, then that's treason and I could die. So don't tell me if it's really the Queen's name or not. Just stop using the name, all right? You're right. You better let me break a spear over your back just to even it out, because you just... Uh, but, 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 now but, but, you know but, but, the Queen's... No. no, if I'm to have a spear broken over my back, it shall be my second-in-command who does it, and his second-in-command shall break a spear over his back, and so on and so forth, until we get back to the start, and to cap things off, the head will 
uh, the, the leader will smash the, the, the most junior in yep. the back with a spear and everything will be sorted. All right. right. Well, at least you've got evening plans now. This That's <laughs> Thieves gang, such rules nerds. Shut up. Um, <laughs> Katie goes, uh, yeah, I got this, this shard. I, I took it from some people who thought they could put one over on me. Just in case you were thinking about putting one over on me again. Um, your Majesty, I swear, the only thing we ever meant to put over on you was that pearl head yeah. over your head. I should really have all of you killed. Hey, I didn't say no. anything! No? You have now, Merylwen. You're, you're still <laughs> palling around with this lot, aren't you? you In many ways, Merylwen is the worst of us all. <laughs> Let me tell you about this meat grinder. I mean, <laughs> you, you, think, you think you've seen horror. The Queen sort of gestures dismissively and imperiously at the guards and goes, Leave us. They leave in short order. Um, one of them goes, come on, I'll break the spear over your back. And they sort of close the doors behind them. Katie reaches up and actually removes... Oh, it comes the, off. Uh, oh, it comes off. So what's the problem? Your yes, it sorry, comes off. <laughs> oh, drop the act. She puts it down and goes... She sits down on the throne and sort of roguishly throws her leg over one of the arms. Cool. I throw roguishly throw my leg over one of Dob's arms. <laughs> <laughs> I roguishly okay. throw my arms over Corazon's leg. So you're just hugging his leg then. <laughs> just like... She goes... Your Majesty, you can see, we're just simple idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes you are. But Please I'm, show us mercy. I'm sorry. I'm hoping if I give you this item, I can count on you to be discreet idiots. I wouldn't bet on it, to be honest. <laughs> we know, we are very we are very discreet. Yeah. Okay. okay. Have you know. Well. It's our watchword. I need a favour. Or on. rather, there's something you can do for me in trade for this shard. One of my captains did a runner last night. Took off with a dozen of his most trusted men. And he took some things that are precious to me. Not gold, not silver, not this shard, whatever it is, but information. They took my library of scrolls. That library of scrolls got blueprints of some of the most well-guarded places in all of Geth. It is a literal priceless hoard. And it's stolen. Because my feeling is Tinniswood is going to try and challenge me for the throne. Tinniswood. Now. Tinnis bloody wood as well. I sink down in my I, chair. I throw my <laughs> leg over Dob's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she actually cracks a wry smile at that. She goes, now, Tinniswood has a hideout. He thinks I don't know about it, but I do. It's uh, not too far upriver. And canoe it in probably a couple of hours. I'll give you the craft. It's just a few huts. He'll be camping out there with his friends. They'll be planning a couple of heists so they can amass more people and equipment and eventually challenge me for the throne. And before he makes that play, I need him and his lackeys wiped out. Gone. Dead. And if nobody in the court finds out this even happened in the first place, so much the better. You get me my scrolls back, you put the traitors down, and uh, I'll give you what you want. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. I mean, Katie, as you probably know by our reputation, mm. we're up to the job. Yes, indeed. Well, is there anything I'm... more you can tell us about this uh, tennis wood? He's a good fighter. He's conniving. I wouldn't say his men are all that talented, it's just that they trust him. And How many men does he I'm... have, do you know? About a dozen. Right. But there'll be more soon if uh, if he's allowed to play hooky with my scrolls. So. Mm. All right. All right. Well, I, I presume you've got the uh, you've got the shard locked up tightly. <laughs> Don't want anyone. I'm not showing it to you, and I'm not telling you where it is. I'm not falling for that again. As I'm... I mean, we know where it is, Katie. We have a map. I say. I study her face to see if her eyes flick in any direction. Uh, yeah, make me um, a wisdom perception check. She's going to make a stealth check. <laughs> um, 19. Well, if I hadn't dropped my d20, uh, I'd be showing you a glorious Oxventure symbol. Hey! Because I got a nat 20. Whoa! No, well. Her eyes just narrow at you. like. Oh, she's good. They don't, they don't flick to anywhere. For a split second, you think, oh, my God, the shard, it's been inside me all along. <laughs> you realise it's not that kind of adventure. 
Damn. Well, it doesn't sound like we have any other options if we want this shard. Let's get our canoes. Yeah. We all knew it would come to this. One more question, uh, Your Majesty. Mm. Uh, is it necessary that this is a uh, kill mission? Yes. Yeah, cool. For, yeah, I, I, know. I just wanted to make sure <laughs> right you. Right I just wanted to make Ten sure. Four. You, I'm cool with it. I just wanted to make sure you understood the ramifications, uh, you know, morally, of doing something like that. But it sounds like you do as well as me. So, that, so let's let's. Get we going. start backing out of the throne <laughs> room, yeah, 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 like yeah. bowing. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Majesty. She nine, reaches nine, for nine, the, uh, nine, the, nine, the pearl head. She goes, "You of all people." shouldn't be squeamish about the ramifications of your actions getting a lot of people killed. Oh. <laughs> Bit harsh. <laughs> Probably fair. Um, you can't see her face. You can't tell if she can see your face. But you definitely feel her watching you as, um, as you go to leave the room. All right. As the doors open, um, she calls the guards. Give them canoes. As a show of good faith, as we leave, uh, I would like to just loudly say, with the guards in earshot, like, I'm sorry we couldn't come to any sort of arrangement, but it about, you know, buying your information, but it seems like anyone who even dares to get their mitts on it is summarily killed, and it's so well hidden that our yeah. plans to steal it have failed. We Damn. will now deferentially leave you to your iron rule. She just steps backward into the shadows. Oh, man, that's so badass. Okay. <laughs> I, I step backwards, so there are shadows? Yes. Sweet. I step backwards and fall down the steps of the temple. <laughs> there are 2,000 of them. Oh. Um, oh. And I forgot to mention that on the way up, but yeah, it's a, it's a long way down. So bump, 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 right. bump, bump, bump. I walk next to Dob as he rolls down the 2,000 steps. <laughs> Keep pace. You notice that he is somehow perfectly managing to hit his head on one step and then his feet on another and just keep like, <laughs> like all the way key. down. Like a slinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slinky. yeah it's amazing. <laughs> Genuinely amazing. Well, that's fun, folks. We made a, a legendary tyrannical thief queen. We're, mm. we're her origin story. That's that's cool. Yeah, I'm but proud all those people at the market died. They all got horribly that, killed. Yeah, well. That wasn't our fault, really. I mean, in no. a, I mean... I suppose, yeah. She could have not killed them. That, yeah, was, yeah. that was an option. Don't exactly. put that on us, Corazon. We can't just she, put, she was the one trying to put it on us. Just yeah. saying, is all. No, you're so. quite right. She had free will, and now so do we in accepting her death quest. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, should we go do this thing that I'm totally comfortable with then? Yay! <laughs> Oh, um, come, death it'll quest. be nice death It'll quest. be a nice day out. Death quest. Canoes. You like canoes, Dob. You Canoeing love a canoe. And death quest. I do like canoes. I focus like hard on holiday. the canoe aspect. <laughs> the canoe <laughs> part of the death yeah. quest. Okay. The well, the canoes are nice. Um, they Great. are. Um, there are sort of two-person and three-person canoes. Or if you want, you can take one of the five-person ones and just like go in one big party boat. Um, party boat. Party boat. On the way, I would like to say, does anyone else think that maybe? Like, seeing as we're attacking a gang of professional thieves, is this one of those situations where, like, just full frontal charge, like, is a valid option? Do we want to try well, and, like, outwit these thieves, or...? Yeah, they're going to try and hide and sneak attack us and all that nonsense. I think maybe. So if we can stop them doing that, if we can take that away from them, that would be... Uh... What, if we, I what think... if we just go loud? Hey, no, but... because then they'll all just disappear into the shadows and sneak attack us. Oh. Oh, okay. What if we um? What if we uh, form uh, a radius around what? their camp? Then we don't know what their camp the looks like yet, though. We should go and look at it. What if we canoe upstream and then you know, some distance yeah, from the camp? Leave the boats and then uh, we leave the canoes. Foot, maybe go up in the trees. Become the jungle. Maybe the 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 creatures of the jungle, Merylwen. What do you think? Yeah, I think once we get closer, I can ask uh, some big old tiger to go in some... and trash their camp. Yeah. I've, I've rolled in mud and smeared it all over my... I've hey. taken my shirt off, rolled in yep. mud, completely covered myself, and I'm now just like... That wasn't necessary for the canoeing portion, mm. Corazon. Well, you tell me. Yeah, I'd prefer I'm if you invisible. rode a bit. <laughs> no, I'm too busy applying <laughs> applying body makeup. <laughs> right. Okie dokie. So it's also you... exfoliating. Mmm. Delicious. Full of leeches, I imagine. <laughs> oh. Hot. Okay, you get out into the party boat. You start paddling your way up river. Corazon is not helping because uh, Corazon is continuing to apply uh, 
body makeup. Um, and uh, it's a couple of hours canoeing, but you start to see sort of a bend in the river and you can just make out through the trees the smoke of a wood camp sort of rising and curling gently, sort of blue-grey curls of smoke riding up. And if you're going to start planning an ambush or something similar, now is the time. Okay, let's hide this canoe. Let's get it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Into, you know, in the, the roots of this mangrove or whatever it is. Get yeah. it hidden. Very, very easy at this point. Um, it's a light craft. All you need to do is be able to grab hold of a mangrove. You can sort of pull yourselves in and you all, like, pop out above. There's sort of like a shelf of uh, mangrove roots that you're now all on top of with the um, the canoe safely stowed inside. Sweet. Is there a... Can I, can I survey the camp to see if there are... Uh, obvious ways in and out what i'm trying to establish is is there like an obvious route in and is there a sort of sneaky way that you would if you were a thief perhaps think that's our exit sure make me a wisdom perception check please okay what's everyone else doing meryl when are you chatting to animals yeah i'm gonna look around um for like a bird of some kind um yep and be like hey bird okay um We'll get to that in just a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dob, you see, basically, um, there are some canoes that are sort of upside down, stacked, and they are hidden between beneath fronds and stuff. Not brilliantly, to be honest. The huts themselves seem to be sort of like quite poorly camouflaged. They're in this sort of little clearing by the river, and you can see a couple of sentries kind of watching the river just in case anyone comes down that, because that is sort of... Um, it's a defensible point, but it's also where they're most visible. And the other side, you can see there is one sort of well-beaten path off into the wilderness. That seems to be the the method by which most people come and go when they're traveling on foot. There may be other pathways, but you're not quite sure from here. In any case, these are thieves. While to be honest with you, like the ones patrolling don't, they look quite brutish. They don't really look like you died in the wool slapped with river mud rogue that Corazon is. Um, (laughs) But they, they look like they can handle themselves. Are they preparing a stew? Is there any kind of uh, water supply that they have? Uh, presumably they're eating and drinking if they're camped. Yeah, there's sort of a, a pot over the fire. You can't tell from here what it is, but it's steaming. I, I reckon if we could get something into that, some kind of sleeping draft or some kind of poison, I think that might be the easiest way to take them all out in one go. Uh, Merylwen, do you know of any herbal preparations that could help? Well, I could poison spray into a bottle, maybe. <laughs> could you poison spray into a bottle and persuade a bird to fly over and drop it in? You know the um, <laughs> Middle Earth Protocol. Why don't they just have a bird fly over and drop it yeah. in? Mm-hmm. From, yeah. A hornbill PS has sort of responded to your call, and it's sort of like alights on a branch. It looks quite scraggly, but it's got this massive, enormous hornbill, and it kind of like goes boom and eats a eats a big berry, and she goes like, "Oh, hi, what's your name?" Um, Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Put you on the spot. Uh, Christian! Chris, <laughs> Christian Hornbill. Yeah? Lovely. Um, Do you know of the, the camp <laughs> with all the people over there? Yeah! Uh, it's there! Y- yeah. Um, do, do you like the people there? <laughs> Don't really care! No, they've not like been like... Hurting your forest or anything? No. <laughs> no. Not my forest. <laughs> okay. Well, could you could you send <laughs> could you help me send them a present? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's present? Um, it's something to add to their stew. It's a secret ingredient. You didn't know that hornbills could raise an eyebrow, but this one just did. Secret ingredient, ha! Huh? Well, it's just you know a little bit, a little bit something extra to. Why can't I have it? You're giving it away? Oh, oh it's Kiss it! No, I don't want to give it Kiss to it. you. Kiss it! No. Look, there. You can have something else. I've got, I've got something better. Kiss it! Okay. What is it? Okay, look, I've got... It's this! Okay, and I, I produce, um, like, a small grape. I've just got some grapes with me. <laughs> Not even a big grape. <laughs> <laughs> Christian throws his head back and goes, Ow, oh, big whoop! Yeah, what? What's it? Have you notice how badly Meryl when gets on with all animals? <laughs> I didn't. What, are they, what are you adding? That's one scraggly hornbill. No, that, that, this is what I'm adding to the, the <sighs> stew. This is the secret ingredient. Are you poison it? Oh my god. 
Maybe. Look, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Help me poison all those people. Yeah. 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 I love chaos. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> You're ready for Christian, the yes, chaos Christian. hornbill. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a little like scritch on the Born end of his bill. Of chaos. Yes. The oh, future. Uh, just bird. before we continue with this plan. <laughs> okay. It, it, I mean, you're going to be murdering 13 people. It was your plan, Corazon. <laughs> I, I said a sleeping draft. Well, I don't, I don't have sleeping drafts. Yeah, she can't do a. a I can't do a magic it's poison sleep, or nothing. Sleeping draft right. spray. And like the, the I, a little bottle of poison spray is going to be pretty diluted. Yeah, it's just going to make, just make them, them very sick. sick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I could live with that. And then this isn't me spraying it directly into their face, and even then, it doesn't kill them straight away. You know. <laughs> it takes days. They just yeah. it rots away. All right, yeah, if we can sicken them all up and then they won't be able to fight back while we tie them all up and then we can cool. take the scrolls and go back and tell her we killed everyone. Mm -hmm. And then push them down river in a canoe or several canoes. Yeah, sure. Back to the I just, I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I, it's probably just me being silly, but I feel like murdering 13 people is bad. What, since uh, it when? Is, is it because it's 13 know. and that's unlucky? Yeah, it's an unlucky <laughs> number. I'm superstitious. What if we just leave one of them alive then? Yeah, what right, tell, tell, tell the others? It's pretty diluted. Even if Merylwen were to poison spray someone in the face, it wouldn't necessarily kill them. We've seen it before. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Is it because they're yeah. thieves, Corazon? It's because they're alive humans who we don't even know. They might be nice. I mean, they're against Katie Pearlhead, who we've established is bad. Yeah, but she's oh. our bad. Well, maybe we should sneak in and act like we're also, you know, trying to join up. I think it would be it would be fine to lightly okay. poison them. Well, this is happening. But I just I would rather. Well, this is happening. Grapes. We can't. Just does it. I we spray yeah. some we can't grapes. not use a little, the a little chaos hornbill. A yeah. little. I've got a little bunch of grapes, and I just spray poison all over them. And I'm like, there you go. That's nice and e easy for you to carry. Don't eat those ones. Christian. Don't eat them, Don't eat them Christian, Christian. Okay. I can't believe you put it on grapes and gave it to the hornbill. It sort of grabs them, and it's in its. Foot, but it's like. Uh oh. No, no, okay. I take the grapes and I crush them and I put them in a bottle instead. Oh no, he's still got them. Look, I've got I've got actual nicer grapes here as well. You see? There you go. I'll give him the Your nice hand's grapes. all covered in poison <laughs> still. <laughs> hand still producing poison spray. Who could possibly say? Um, <laughs> Okay, Stop um, putting things into cannon that are not cannon. <laughs> <laughs> With like a screech, he's goes like ah! and just like takes to wing. It's like mm -hmm. and <laughs> we see him sp spiral out of the air. He <laughs> 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 just <laughs> lands in the pot. No, he expertly drops all of the grapes Christian. into the pot. Yes, wow. Christian. Nice. The trap is sprung. It is now a thoroughly poisoned stew pot. And now we wait until dinner time. Mm -hmm. Slightly after dinner time. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Christian what? comes back and lands on a branch and goes, By the way, I'd get up in the tree. If I were you. I follow Christian into the tree without any hesitation. <laughs> Where do we think the scrolls are? Have we identified the huts that they no, might well, be? Well, I was gonna I was gonna crawl on my belly through the foliage up to the With a machete the... in your teeth. Yeah, with a machete in my teeth. Make me a dexterity stealth check, please, Corazon. Um Oh you... twenty! Great, 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 great. I crawl up yeah. and I go, kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> to who? As um, I, to no one in particular. <laughs> to the guards. You can hear, you can hear, the, you can hear the, uh, the band of thieves being like, yeah, and if I really ran things, I would make it so that water, clean drinking water, was not a human right. We'd make so much money. Oh. Someone else goes, that's brilliant. A third person goes, isn't that immoral? And then they all go, ha, 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 ha. Oh, they're um, bad. They're bad. Christian, uh, by the way, is like, he's up in the tree. He's further up in the tree. Uh, has everyone gone up or is anyone else just chilling out on the thing? Yeah, I want to climb the tree. It's okay. Dob and Christian and everyone. Christian kind of like bobs along. He's like, look, look, look. Mm. You look down, you see in the water, you didn't notice it before because you were quite close to the waterline. But um, you see a massive slightly horrifying looking shape move in the water below you it's like it's just like a big jagged mouth with just like big tentacles coming off the back a so it's not like a squid it's, it is like a it's like a fist with teeth 
and it's just got tentacles coming off the back of it. Anyone who has um, any skill uh, related to the identifying of, um, of monsters can can try and uh, pass a check, see what it is. Yeah, I would love to. I'd love to try and... Is it a magical monster or more like an animal monster? No, it's What's more of an animal. animal. Is, it, is it like, what type of check is it? I rolled a 20 on a nature check, which I... Nature would be great, and a 20 is will definitely do it. Yeah, this 17. is an abolath. Abolath. Uh, Abolath. It's terrifying. It's like it's a really horrible, amphibious, like voracious creature that can not only uh, infect you with a disease on contact, um, but it can actually like mesmerise people and, and put them under its control. So it can literally pop its head up, ensnare somebody with its mind, and then be like, walk into my mouth, please. And they'll be like, sure thing. And it just goes like, Whoa. oh dear. It's possible this thing was following your boat the whole time. It's possible it's just been chilling out here. You don't really know. Is it because Dob didn't have a shower? Yeah, that's hey. entirely possible. It may hey. be drawn to the to the smell of a pocket carrion. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so uh, Corazon, what were you planning to do once you got closer up? I wanted to see if I could determine the location of the scrolls. Uh, make me a wisdom perception check. Uh, it's a 15 plus 2 plus 3, so that's a dirty 20. Okay, so you've got three sort of huts, one closer to you and then two further off. It's the one closest to you. You can hear people. It just sounds like they're pouring over maps. They're like, Now you see here, if we come in through this little tunnel, then we can get in and we can rob the orphans blind. Etc. Etc. I'm starting to feel less bad about the murder them all plan <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Here's my question: How do we get the Aboleth to murder them? Mm. Mm-hmm. Now the Ab- Aboleths are Aboleths are pretty smart. Like they're surprisingly intelligent considering how they're just a mass of teeth and goo. So, what do they eat? Uh, people? Is it is it people? I think. Yeah. It's not not people. Yeah. How does the mesmerising just... work when they mesmerise people? How close do their victims have to be? Because maybe we could like Pied Piper march them all into the mouth yeah. of the Aboleth and then they'd all get it. You rolled a 20 on that check, didn't you? The nature Dropped. check. Yeah, it was, dirt, it was dirty, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's 30 foot, but it can only do it three times a day. So it couldn't do it to all 30. Could, it, could we, like, if you wanted, to, if you really wanted the, to eat, to be eaten, you could like press to digitate something delicious smelling and create a trail to the camp from the waterline. I can do better than that. Okay. Well, I mean, I can... I, I mean, I, I have a spell <laughs> that does that. Doing that nothing. I, I have, won't, but I could. I mean, I have a spell that does that that is better than press to digitation. Um, okay, shall I try it? If you like. Do you not I mean, want to see don't... how this stew plan works out? or? Well, that's some nice backup. Okay, fine. I suppose. My other plan was we make a slip and slide from the camp to the water. And then somehow we get more <laughs> slide and then they all slide. They kick them all down the well, They all get sick and, and then they all have... Yeah, yes. They, well. they have to go drink water. We've made the slip and slide and they all just slide into the avalanche. Hmm, just now. give them a little push. <laughs> Corazon could create a greasy slide. Uh, yeah, let, let's let's get a little grease shoot leading from the um, from the sea pot down to the waterfront. Why not? For the sake of... For the sake of matter, given that there is a river between you, I'm going to say that one of you was messaging Corazon. Oh yeah, that. I was relaying this by message to Corazon. <laughs> Perfect. There's a, Corazon, there's an aboleth, a bloody aboleth in the water. Oh, oh no, that's bad. Those Got things are bad. Fangs, tentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mesmerizing um, powers. All right, so what, what, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> well, grease shoot, obviously. <laughs> oh, grease shoot, say no more. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, you know. All right, continuing to ride my incredible natural 20 stealth check. I move around. <laughs> I, res- I, I respect that so much, I'm not going to question it. That's hilarious. Uh, I move around <laughs> move through the bushes to the bit between the water and the stew pot, and I would like to grease the floor. Sure. Okay. And then I'm going to return to where the, um, the hut was with the thing, and I'm staying close to there because I think there might be a chance for me to sneak in when everything goes off. Okay, you get back to it just in time to feel uh, your 20 just go like... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> like a balloon that's run out of, of air. Um, there is now a like a, a yeah a significant grease slide. I would like to search my memory banks a little bit more about the history of Geth, because I remember that... I remember that Aboleths are ancient primordial creatures who have like ancient beef with the gods because they were um Whoa. because they were like cursed and kicked out basically. So like they're properly horrifying. Dang. But, but what I was thinking is like because they have this ancient grudge, what if 
we could maybe convince the uh, Aboleth that this that this camp isn't just a camp of, of thieves, that they are worshippers of one of the gods with whom the Aboleth has an ancient rivalry. Um, the only thing is, I don't know their names of any gods, so that's what I want my check to be for. <laughs> okay, cool. make, yes, make me a memory bank check. Okay. I've gone for history. 20. No, I mean, oh, what? Natural? Yep, natural. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Um, may, you know, maybe it's uh, seeing Katie Delacour again that's put you in mind of Iron, but Iron used to worship Bib Blip Dull Bloop. Bloop Dull Bloop. Bloop Dull Bloop. Bloop Bloop. Yeah. Shawadi Wadi. Yeah. Do you up to Hey Hey? Of course. Iron, remember Iron? The cool groovy yeah. fish man? The fish mm-hmm. priest. The cool groovy fish man with the plan? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Right, so what the name of, of the god that Ion worshipped and was a bishop of was Flip Bloop de Bloop. Flip Dol Bloop. Flip Dol Bloop, right? Yeah. Okay. Flip Bloop. Who remembers the regalia or songs or anything of Flip de Bloop? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm in a bush nearby, but <laughs> message is still going, right? Sure. You're yeah. writing out the rest of that message, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It's all making up for how badly this segment of the adventure started. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember how the old hymn went? Uh, oh, blib ploop, you are so good. You are a big fish god. Was this the sea mother? Same thing? Oh, mm. Yes. Yeah. The sea mother. Well, we went to the temple yeah. of the yeah. sea yeah. mother. Um, oh, Rudy's sea mother, a, there is no out. other. Oh, sea mother, there is no other. Blip de bloop, blip de bloop, we think yeah. you're cool. Get um, under the covers with the sea mother. And, <laughs> and, the, and what that tells us is... The waters have already started to churn a little bit. Uh-oh. Um, oh. Just with you dabbling Singing. with these songs. It's Chanting. Like, like it's unhappy. You even see for a second, like, it's sort of eyeless, like, gnashing mouth. It's like... Blah, 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 oh. From the surface of the water. Right, keep it down, keep it down, because we, we don't want to spoil the surprise... But this seems like this seems like it could, could be a good way to to really 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 massively piss off the enormous <laughs> like beast. Good, no, me. that's good. I'm glad um, we can do that. Either what if one of us like sprints into camp, sings the hymn, and then cheeses it out, <laughs> or uh, or I could create the major image of Iron, a fish, the fishman priest. That's pretty good. And he's just there in the middle, and and he's just singing and dancing. He's... It'll sound and smell real. Go go for it. If you I do it, it near the if you do it near the grease chute, maybe they'll come and investigate and then slide down the grease chute and the monster will be coming for the other yeah, side. Maybe the monster will go straight into his mouth. Shoot up so it's gonna be a, a blip dill bloop revival <laughs> meeting. Um, Christian turns to you, Malwan, and goes, I don't know what they're saying, but I wanna see someone poisoned. I'll be right back. And he flutters down to the camp. You see next to the um, the stew kettle, there is a bell that hangs there, and he just goes Bing! And like yes. smashes it with his beak yeah. and sort of rings dinner the dinner bell. bell and then like flies off to a different perch. I like this. I you see him hanging. Bird. You see him hanging from a thin branch <laughs> over the water. Chaos and bird. just vibrating Got with it. The anticipation. Just like, <laughs> I'm just like, no, I tend went. to Dob and say, "How did the bird know phase 10? Yeah. <laughs> Meryl, one of all the animals you've ever befriended, yeah. this is my fave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the men in the camp have uh, started to gather around the um, the fire, and they've started just to, they grab bowls and just like have like even uh, someone comes out and goes whoa, 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 no 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 what are you what are you doing it's not time yet and they're like ah looks fine and they're ladling out the stew. Have they left so the, the hut with the maps? But the emulsification, the flavors. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a full muster. Everyone's hungry. All right, I'm gonna just. Make me a self check. Corazon's going for it. I'm going for it. What'd you get? 18. It's a higher number than 15. Uh, yeah, you sneak in. There's basically, you know, like sort of canvas, like sailors' duffel bags. It's like one of those just stuffed with scrolls. And then there's a big scroll already laid out, stretched out on the table. There's sort of an oil lamp above it. And yeah, it's right. it is. You've been in planning rooms like this before. Mm-hmm. Roll it up, put it in the bag with the others. Sling the bag over my shoulder, and then mm-hmm. I'm gonna get out back into the bushes. Another stealth check, please. Uh, I wouldn't worry. 
That's a 15 this time. Well, I rolled a two. If only I could find my Ox Venture branded D20. They're guaranteed a 20 every time. <laughs> no. Wait, no, that's a bad no, thing. Okay. <laughs> um, not for, right. Not for me. Yeah, you yeah. have slipped back out again. Tell me about the poison spray. So it's a, presumably a saving throw to resist um, its charms. A constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. And your DC is 15? Uh, 16. 60, pardon me. Miss, miss, miss. One's fine. Miss, 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 miss. Right, no, yeah, miss. Uh, basically, everyone except the one who, uh, basically the person who got served last hasn't eaten much. They were sort of talking. So they they are fine. What? Well, it depends. Um, how? What damage like? So we've got almost all of them have failed. One has passed. Okay, so. What, so all of them, almost all of them are eating. Yeah. Oh, they're they're yeah. They're, yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So usually, like a poison spray, like directly in front, full blast mm. is like one d twelve poison damage. But if it's been diluted a little bit, maybe half that, or I don't know. It's up to your it's your just discretion. Just tummy damage. It, tummy damage. Tummy damage. Yeah. Sure. Okay. It is being ingested rather than like just sprayed in the face. So. That's true. Mm-hmm. It's being cooked. It could be like decarbolizing mm. as we speak. Just roll me a d12. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. The people who pass, are they all right? Or do they get half the damage? Or? Uh, they are all right. If they pass, okay. they're okay. So that's a two. I've okay. A two. They don't feel great because they've just taken some damage from being poisoned. And a lot of them are like, do you feel really not great? I don't feel great. I don't feel like I'm definitely going to be sick, but I feel like I might be sick. Like, I feel like feeling like being sick. Mm-hmm. I don't... Uh, um, the, um, actually, the, the guy who passed is the chef. He's like, I told you, it's not ready yet. Look, you can't blame me if you're eating food that's not finished. It's not done. I'm not going to eat it until it's done. Are they going to throw up in this river? Is that where they would throw up? Some of them are kind of like, oh, God, I, oh, I genuinely think I might be sick. They start, they do some... Yeah, they do start towing their way toward the river now your plan is working yeah uh all right surprise surprise what should they find at the river uh but just uh coming springing and dancing out of the bushes is a tiny fish man in a bishop's hat uh (laughs) because dob is nearby in the reeds casting major image the major image i think i'm hallucinating as well (laughs) <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Very, oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Praise <laughs> Blip to Bloop! <laughs> there is suddenly a roar from uh, the river which explodes in like white foam and tentacles as this, this absolutely enormous creature lashes out and. Um, is going to uh, basically attack everyone on the shoreline. Yes. Sounds distracting. I'm moving through the jungle back towards the canoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. Uh, just make me a stealth check just in case. 15 again. As soon as a, a tentacle or something hits iron, uh, it's going to just dissolve. And but, okay. but, but presumably by that point, the rage will be so intense. And the, and the shoot will be so greased. <laughs> they need to make... Con save. Wow. Not one of those past the constitution saving throw. It lashes out with its tentacles. It does like three massive swipes of the shoreline. <sighs> the iron sort of facsimile does indeed disappear, but it smashes like into six of them, just like, like just knocking them, them over. Some of them do slip into the water. Uh, three of them do not. So there are... Uh, four people now in the water all of them have taken a lot of damage um they've taken like 12 points of damage in one in one smash um those who are still on the on the ground are just now just like grasping their throats and choking and like (gasps) you notice those who slid down into the water um are moving around and the water is shallow enough that they could stand up if they wanted to but they don't Oh. In fact, they sort of pop their heads up and they're like, <laughs> and they duck back down, almost as if they can't breathe on land anymore. Oh, <laughs> they've been turned into fish people. Whoa! Temporarily, it's a disease. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, this is this is a grim and a dirty business, but I think probably the kindest thing at this point we can do is to just. It's to just leave. Leave. Oh no! <laughs> I was going to say, put everyone out their misery. Right, well, <laughs> you can do that. Oh. 
I'm going to be heading back to the canoe. Anyone who wants to join me, I'll be <laughs> heading there. <laughs> team canoe, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. Team, go back to Her Majesty and tell them that we left some alive against her specific orders. I mean, what's she going to do? Go in the river and check. <laughs> tell, tell her whatever you want, Dob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell her that they all died. Unbelievable. Persuade Dob to go on a kill quest and then all leave when the things when the killing stops. suddenly start. I'll stick yeah, around for the killing, oh, Maggie Dob. Let's go. Dob will just walk around putting his Mercy rapier into the, into the twisting victims. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. What did they call that no. knife? The one where you go around after a battle and you just, you know, oh, that knife. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah, we just need some of those. Okay, so what, Meryl, Wen, and, and Prudence are going to stick around? Yeah, yeah, do some knifing. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure, Kristen's going to help. Oh, yes, Christian. He's we give... shri... All right, we give... He is shrieking from his branch. Christian, a little knife. Really enjoying himself. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Absolute hor- Maybe they want to be able to breathe underwater. Maybe it's a gift. Okay, so, uh, well, team, team, team put them out of their misery. Uh, the Abolith doesn't leave much work for you to do, to be honest, but you do go over the camp. Um, it takes you a while. Uh, but yes, you, you certify that ev- everybody has indeed uh, oh, died, and anyone who hasn't is is uh, sped on their way. I cast uh, the, those who uh, I cast I cast sleep, and then once they're under, just God. Wow, this is so dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, uh, ev- I'm I, trying look, to if make they don't, it less if, dark. If, if they don't want to fade to black, we don't fade to black. We might um, have. We they could have lived and regretted their decisions you don't know ah but they didn't <laughs> you get back in the in the party boat uh and you're going down river now and the aboleth seems to be sated so it's not following you you just sort of take a lazy river boat ride back i down. get my atonement diary out and just tear the pages out and throw <laughs> yeah, you can tear out two pages egg but you can tear the other page out for not sticking with the friends and the plan <laughs> um the ink i stare of... down at my hands covered in blood my lift off the page. Wide. The words in your atonement diary are lost like tears in the rain. <laughs> Before, um, as while we're taking the boat journey, I'd like to go through the plans and see if there's anything uh, particularly juicy that I can make a copy of. Uh, ooh, yes, there is. Uh, there are. I'm going to say there are two buildings that particularly catch your eye, uh, and you have time to make copies of those. I will yeah, tell you, you what they are once I've had time to think about it. Great. You also do, find, slightly disconcertingly, you do find plans to see your family home. Oh. But um, <laughs> you try not to think about that too much. Wow, you they know about it... the secret passage in the scullery. What? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, Bad luck, Dad. You <laughs> make it uh, back to uh, the court of the Queen. There are the same guards that um, had you... Um, sort of by spear point, are now waiting for you to arrive. Rush straight into the uh, the throne room. Um, Delacour steps out, still wearing her pearl head, uh, and they rush up the, the bundle of scrolls. Uh, the, like, she, she goes over them, says, you know, yeah, they're genuine, and someone whisks them away into a back room where they are presumably locked up again. And she says, uh, Oh, well done! You've done great! Um... You can get, well, yeah, you can go now, if you Excuse, want. Sorry, who are you? Hmm? Oh, it's me. I'm the Pearl Queen. Here, look. I pull um, the pearl head off. Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> for the sake of expedience, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's not Casey Delacour. She goes, oh, yeah. I mean, I thought, I thought it was quite a good disguise. It was bad. I punt the uh, papier-mâché head out of the way in rage. Hey! Oh! Where's Katie? Here just to make that. You do not send Dob on a killing quest and then vanish before he can have the reward that he... For the, for the killing... Okay, I don't know who Dob is, but listen. The Queen said I was to stand here and pretend to be her and to basically fob you off and tell you to go away. But if, uh, if you did work out who I was, I was to say... She's taking the... the thing you were after. Um... <gasps> She's gone to throw it in a volcano. Katie! Because um, that'll teach you a, a lesson for trying to put one over her. No. The hell um, she has. You don't put and blood on Dob's hands and then renege on the deal. This just got personal. Phase 11, baby. And I <laughs> sprint out the temple. Oh, oh no. That, that's really inconvenient because... She said the rest of you uh, needed to die. Well, all of you needed to die. Maybe we can track him down later. Anyway, you're gonna die now. What? No. And, uh, some 
like all the henchmen lower their spears and they're like get ready yeah. to die in a sort of exciting uh, uh, like heated uh, cliffhangery sort of nice I see, yeah. you might suppose <laughs> yeah excellent great cool. so Dobbs just run off then yeah. Dobbs run off <laughs> did, did, did Dobbs explain phase 11 to anyone no no but no. Dobbs what was phase 11 we need phase to Dob, know Dob, phase 11 Dob. Dob. it'll all become it'll all become perfectly clear you, you, you oh, know what booger. phase 11 really is you've always away. known what phase 11 is phase 11 it's was in inside here. you all along yeah. this was the phase I was looking forward to the least apart from phase 10 where I had to go kill all those <laughs> <laughs> injured people <laughs>